load management. What do you guys think? Now, I'm no expert, but so far, I think it's pretty weak. Obviously, we're talking about Kawhi Leonard. Now, he's not the first player to utilize minutes restrictions and load management to preserve himself and be ready for the second season, the most important season, the playoff push. We've seen that last year Kawhi sat out several games and he was strong. He finished strong. Finals MVP. Okay. But you got to remember, he was going up against the depleted Golden State Warriors. Fifth trip to the finals. KD, not healthy. Clay, hurt. So he had some fortuitous turns of events to help him win. So his new team, his current team, the Los Angeles Clippers, they're losing these games that he's sitting out, these back-to-back -back games that he's not playing. Now, Paul George, he just he just debuted the other night. He did very well. 33 points, game-winning shot. He's stepping up to the plate. Now, right now, as we're filming, they're currently playing for the first time together. Same court, same time. So we're going to see how that goes. Is it going to be as potent? of a one-two punch as LeBron and AD are proving to be. You've got Kawhi, 28 years old, sitting out several games. And you've got someone like Le LeBron, 34, about to be 35, 17th season in the league. Body still in his prime. I mean, he's kind of he's kind of throwing shade at Kawhi, saying he's not going to sit out doing the load management. He wants to throw it back to the old school, hardcore Iron Man. Well, you wanted to compete night in and night out against the best, the rivals, the people that, the matchups that the people were paying to come see, you know, the stars, the heavyweights, the clash or the titans. You're going to miss out on some of those when you're sitting out through the load management. So, load management doesn't sit well, not with the fans, not with the networks paying all this money, and not with the players. I mean... I will say this, though. Kawhi proves to be competitive by the team he chose to play for. I think, now I'm no expert, but in my opinion, I think that he chose the Clippers because LeBron was on the Lakers. He didn't want to play with LeBron and AD. He wanted to go heads up, duo versus duo. You know, who's Batman and Robin? Is the real Batman and Robin? Is it Kawhi and Paul George or is it LeBron and AD? So the road to the start to this title that he's trying to pursue is still competitive. He's still gonna have to go through a hardcore West. So I don't think his load management has anything to do with his competitive nature, although it is brought to question because of that. I I'm just not for it. Unless you're hurt. If you're hurt, you need load management. But then that's not looking too good. It's not looking like you're gonna have a 20-year career if you're already 28, it's missing all this time due to injury. Now let's hope for the league's sake, for the sake of the beloved game of basketball, that he has a long and illustrious career. But that remains to be seen.